Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be very important for all the second year students because you got a very little time left for your exams and also you have to cover the entire syllabus. Most of the people haven't even gotten serious yet and I've got a lot of requests at least to make a 15 or 20 day plan for revision or at least completion of syllabus so that we can pass in the exams that is why we are making this video today so i made a 15 days plan which can be used for revision for the people who have already completed the syllabus like 70 80 percent bhi ho gaya to you can easily start revising and for last minute preparation for people who are still not serious and waiting for the right time but start studying if you want to pass otherwise you are going to the supplementary exam directly so these 15 days will not be easy completing three subjects in 15 days is like pretty much impossible but in the hope of people trying at least i'm giving them a schedule but this is going to be very hectic it's near to impossible so for this you have to study at least 10 to 12 hours a day minimum and focus more on flowcharts diagrams and values don't read the textbook like a storybook every single page you cannot read right now read only pyqs read the important topics only you don't have time to cover the entire textbook entire syllabus don't waste your time over a single topic if you cannot understand a topic go to youtube and search for it and there you can get a lot of videos just learn the topic superficially and make an answer that you can write for one page or two pages depending on how many marks that question is going to come and leave it there only you have to prepare for exams right now it is not about building concepts in the last 15 days you cannot sit down and build concepts okay so start making micro notes whenever you are studying some points there are going to be which are very volatile like in pathology any special type of cells are present in the histopathology or something like that then pharma you can forget the adverse effects users or any other stuff any mnemonic for classification if you have written down then write that down in a separate sheet of paper or any small stick notes which you have so that whenever you are going for revision you don't have to swipe through the entire textbook the difficult ones are going to be present in the separate sheet and you can easily revise off and the basic things you will remember anyhow so like that you can make these micro notes then you have to skim through pages don't read every single line just like i told don't use the textbook like a storybook you have to skim through pages and catch the important points only you can use chat gpt and ai for summarization and you will easily complete the syllabus then two subjects a day we are going to do in this plan because reading only one subject will make it very lengthy and monotonous boring and also in five days you have to complete the entire subject which feels like a burden especially for a subject like pathology and then the next thing is going to be get pharma nemo hack this book is very helpful and i'll talk about it later i wrote this book myself and it is going to be a game changer for your pharmacology preparation so coming to day one of the schedule first we are going to do cell injury inflammation and half of hemodynamics on the first day itself along with that in microbiology we are going to do general microbiology you see there are so many topics some people may say that this is impossible this won't happen but you don't have time we have to distribute the syllabus within 15 days boleto you have to do at least three four topics per day so that is why sit down and study properly then we are going to do day two day two we are going to do hemodynamics another half and genetics we are going to complete which is very small immunopathology and immunology are a little bit similar topics so there you can save some time but again a hectic day anyway then day three we are going to do neoplasia tumors of infancy and childhood and nutrition of pathology these two chapters are very small so not a big trouble that is why i added two chapters of pharmacology on that day where you are going to do cvs and also renal then day four we are going to do hematology full hematology rbc wbc platelets and also cvs of microbiology both big chapters that is only two chapters then day five we are going to do git and liver pathology along with that we are going to do git microbiology then day six we'll do renal and lung pathology and along with that hepatobiliary microbiology this is a very small topic so that is why i gave two big topics of pathology in one day then day seven we are going to do git and anticoagulants and along with that respiratory microbiology respiratory is a very big topic so GIT is small and anticoagulants is also small you can do them off in like 9 to 12 or 9 to 1 in the morning and then the entire day you can spend for respiratory okay so before going to the next week let's discuss about pharma nemo hack i wrote this pdf myself and i know as a senior what are the difficulties you face in pharmacology there are a lot of classifications which we cannot remember there are adverse effects users mode of actions which we cannot remember and making mnemonics for such things would be very helpful and that is why i have covered 93 topics which you can see here in the index here 30 topics in the first page 60 topics in the next page and then 93 topics topics by the end so 93 important topics of pharmacology has been covered in this pdf and there are 100 plus mnemonics in every single topic you are going to get a mnemonic for you to remember the classification adverse effects users whatever are there and by remembering a simple sentence you can list out all the users and impress the examiners in theory and also in viva so you are going to get very good marks and we also got a lot of customer reviews where people are very happy all of these are from second year students lot of people have already got their copies and you might think it is very expensive because so many topics are there
there so many features are there so many reviews are there but it is only 99 rupees so it is very affordable a student can spend this price and i kept students in my mind that is why i have reduced the cost from 149 to 99 only and your basic snacks like pringle and ice cream are also costing more than this so investing 99 rupees in your preparation and acing pharmacology both in theory and viva is a game changer deal for you so do check it out the link will be in the description or you can comment pharma and i'll give you the link and you can get your pdf immediately and start preparing day 8 we are going to do male genital tract female genital tract and eye head and neck and we are going to do micro sterilization and hospital infection all of these are medium sized topics so every topic take two hours or two and a half hours in the best case and complete them off i had done neck nothing is there only three questions are there so it is basically not a topic but i have to mention i did so day nine we are going to do chemotherapy chemotherapy is the most important topic so i gave you a specific day for it sit down and read it properly that is only going to help you get good marks in pharmacology and there are a lot of classifications and lot of uses of every single drug which is very important and all of that are covered in pharma nemo every single drug uses and important classifications of penicillins anti-tubercular drugs cephalosporins all of that will be made easy with just one two line mnemonics which you can easily remember in the exam then day 10 we are going to do cns bone and skin again small topics medium size skin and soft tissue infections is a little bit big topic again morning evening shifts you can do and finish off the syllabus then 11th day we are going to do infectious diseases and cvs in pathology and cns zoonotic diseases and miscellaneous these are all again medium sized topics so you can complete off in one day then day 12 we are going to do breast and endocrine along with endocrine drugs and we are completing day 12 then day 13 we are going to do cns drugs along with miscellaneous drugs again cns is a very big topic that is why i gave a specific day day 14 we are going to do general and ans ans is a pretty big topic but genital urinary is a medium topic so you can complete off that also then in the day 15 we are going to do autocoid asthma and anti-cancer drugs if you do this your entire syllabus is completed in 15 days i know it seems a little bit impossible but if you sit down it is actually possible if you, even if you are starting from scratch also and i hope you get very good marks and pass with flying colors in second year mbbs and i will be here to guide you even in third year mbbs go check out the link in description for pharma nemoic and i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye